crazy! We are going on Saigon's wildest food tour, which means tasting some of the most exquisite street food. No way! While riding on the back of a motorbike in one of the craziest cities in the world. We are taking Vietnam's highest rated food tour. Plus, this is an all-female tour company featured in Forbes' top 9 food tours in the world. We're gonna trust you. <laughs> so grab your chopsticks and let's go eat. two ladies who are going to be hosting us on our motorbike food tour today. So my name is Hang. Hang in hang out. Oh, Hang like hang out. I like that. My name is Nyu. N-S-U with a hook. Ah, oh, like Nyu? Nyu. 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 We're a little nervous. <laughs> but we have in Thailand. Yeah, we Thailand. Yes, in Thailand and, and the Philippines. Yeah. For the traffic is Crazy. Yes, <laughs> it's crazy. It's crazy. But now to be like on the back of a motorbike is gonna be really crazy. <laughs> Don't worry, we're crazy. Right? <laughs> <laughs> and we've actually never been on a motorbike in Ho Chi Minh, so we're gonna trust you. <laughs> okay, leave it to us. We are the experts. Yes. I love that. We've actually been on a motorbike for about two years now, and okay. I've always been on the back, but he's never been on the back. I always drive. We're going to make the tour very chill. We want you to pace it now. Yeah, okay. for sure. I'm so keen about that. We want to eat, we want to see, we want to drink. This is my little helmet. Yeah. It's so cute, actually. I feel like I'm uh, like on a boat Land in with the culture right now. <laughs> totally right. How do I... Uh... Our, you need my help? Yes. <laughs> Sometimes I have our like... Tourists from America or Australia, uh -huh. so they're quite big. That's ah. why we need to be careful for them. You ready? Cool helmet. How are we gonna deal with this traffic? I've seen how many bikes there are out in Saigon, so I'm trusting that these two ladies <laughs> will keep us safe. But they I look like absolute wait. rock stars. I think we're gonna have so much fun. <laughs> oh, you're so tiny as well. I, I've got like so much space. We just like sister. Are you saying I'm normally big? Yeah, the bike? you take up so much space on the bike. I'm literally like all the way at the end. Now I've got the whole bike. Shave, we're just like sister. We're just we're like sisters. Sister. We look so cute. This is exactly what I wanted. You're such a good driver. I, we were so comfortable and at ease. We were just having chats the whole time. We are sisters. Right we're now. already sisters. It's a different experience being on the back of the bike. But honestly, having these two ladies, they are so calm. They're busy chatting. But before we go any further, we would like to say a big thank you to Surfshark for continuing to sponsor this channel. Since we are constantly in the airport and moving around to different countries, we are always having to connect to public Wi-Fi, which is why having a VPN is so important. VPN stands for Virtual Private Network and pretty much acts as a shield encrypting our sensitive information. Here's three main factors. 
Surfshark protects your privacy, encrypts your online identity, and prevents hackers and bots from tracking you. But it's more than just security. So you're obsessed with Netflix, but you can't watch your favorite show while you're traveling? No problem. It's so easy to change your virtual location and get access to unlimited content libraries that aren't available in your area. The office for dev and pretty little liars for chef. Put in the suggestion box. Surfshark is the only VPN to offer one account for unlimited devices and there's a 30 day money back guarantee so there's no risk to try it out. Sign up now, use the code SHEVENDEV to get 83% off plus an extra three months for free or just click the link in the description below. Okay, let's continue eating. We just stopped our bikes and walked a meter or two right into the restaurant. Right now we're the only ones here. It's like we have our own private restaurant to enjoy some of the local cuisines. Look at this bowl of soup. Is it just an appetizer? The ap just the appetizer. Just an appetizer. Oh, Whoa. Holy, this is like the main course already. Bun Yes, bun So bun b u n means rice or meat. And b o s means beef. Ba is beef. Ooh, okay. And Hue, H-U-E means the imperial regions of Vietnam, which is Hue. Uh, Hue. It, it origins from Hue. Hue? Yes. From Hue. Spelled noodle soup is quite flat. Mm. However, the bun in the bun bao Hue is quite brown and thicker. Mm. So even if it sits in the soup for a long time, it doesn't get soggy. This is the bean scraps. Mm -hmm. Very popular. This is the shredded banana flour. Oh. Banana flour? Yes. Yeah. Whoa. I've never heard or even tasted that before. This is what we call the water spinach or the morning glory. Do you like spicy? Yeah. Yes, because I'm Vietnamese. <laughs> so we need to put all the chili in. Oh, just a little bit. Oh, a tablespoon. <laughs> just a little bit. <laughs> We're getting the warning. Okay, I'm getting too excited. Only a little bit. Do you think that's too much? <laughs> This is a huge dish, I know. and it's only our first bite. It's the, first one. the more you dive into this bowl, there's just so yeah. many other things. It's like a treasure hunt. You're just finding new things as you go. Ooh. Oh wow! Because you had the meat and the noodles and the broth and the veg together, your mouth is just kind of mixing it all together. But the meat is a lot thicker, whereas in the fur, it's a lot thinner. It actually cooks itself in the in the broth whereas this one is already cooked look at the color of mine it's completely transformed into a red color that's how much chili i put in that was fantastic i can't believe this was the first dish because i don't know if anything's gonna top that really jam-packed with flavor a lot more than the first if i could compare it to anything okay now back on the bike ready to go we're racing. We're racing. We're, the girls are gonna win, no doubt. Decoration Street. Yes. Look how colorful. Which district are we in? Uh, six. District six. six. So we are in District Six and we are in the biggest, one of the biggest Chinatowns yes. in the world. Yes. Right now we are standing in front of a whole bunch of chickens. This is the kind of things that you can buy here in the Chinatown. You can just grab a chicken, chicken on the on go. The and what I love is that there is so much Chinese influence here. There's almost over 600,000 Cantonese people still here. Our lovely guides have told us that people come here and they buy all of their stock in bulk and then they kind of sell it around in the other districts. It's kind of difficult to show on camera just how busy and packed this market is. I really have to look over my shoulder because there are bikes, no, no. people, people are selling everything on the streets, on the floor. After just being here for about one or two minutes, we, I've seen frogs, eels, live chickens, all different kinds of fish and seafood. We're in like a traffic jam in the market. This is crazy. Just stating that these girls are like three peas in a pod right now. What I love about Ho Chi Minh is every street bikes can go on. So this is a normal market, 
but everyone's just coming on their bikes. Nobody besides us is actually walking through. And they've got all sorts of things, fruit, meat, and right now we've come at peak time. So we get the proper vibes of this market. This entire section is just fruit. Look at that. So you can put it in your mouth. <laughs> Mm, it looks like it. Even though we're in the market right now, there's still all these motorbikes going past. So even though we're in the market, you can still get stuck in traffic. Oh, thank you. So it's a cherry? Yeah, this is the right one. Try that one. The Vietnamese cherry. Vietnamese cherry. So you can only get it in Vietnam? Look at this. It's sweet and crunchy. It's like a mini apple. Our guides are so lovely and super insightful, very knowledgeable, and they've also got so much energy. I think we'll have to uh, take them with us wherever yes. we go. So right now we're back on the bikes again, off to another district. Who knows what they're going to do? Chickens? Good evening. On to the next, I guess. I am thoroughly enjoying this day. already. This is our very first time trying the Saigon beer. I'm gonna give it a go. Cheers! This has some tissue. Whoa! That's super refreshing. Oh, but I feel like one might be my limit. If I have too many, I won't be able to do the rest of this video. Is that Yo. What? Hi, Is that correct? Yeah. Okay. Should we try? Okay. Hi, bye, yo! This is fermented oh, tofu sauce with chili oil on top. Fermented tofu? Yes. And you will dip the goat meat in this sauce. Goat meat in that, yes. okay. Goat meat tofu sauce. We have the chili sauce with lime. Okay. You squeeze it. Oh, wow. So there's a specific sauce depending on the type of meat. Yes, those okay. Whoa. The most tender and most expensive part of the goat. So we marinate it with Coca-Cola and tofu sauce to make it more soft and tender. So right now we're having some goat breast, which is the most, I think, the most delicious part of the goat. And these lovely ladies are actually grilling it for us. As they said before, they are the drivers and the chefs. What we actually really love about barbecue here in Asia specifically is that it's a social event. So if you come and have a barbecue, you've got to come and have good company while you're having some good food. Oh, you can try this with the goat. Like just grab it and then you dip it in this sauce and then you eat it. Eat it together. Okay. A heart. It's a heart. So that's why it is called a heart leaf. Oh. And then it also has another name based on the smell of it. No way. Can you guess what it smells like? Like an animal? Yeah. 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 It smells like fish. Oh my gosh. Goat paired with the tofu sauce. Beef paired with chili and lime. Never think a, a certain leaf is paired with a certain meat, like mint with goat. This is actually our first time ever eating goat meat. So I'm gonna dip my goat meat in my tofu sauce and then I'm actually gonna wrap it up in the mint leaf. Just like that. You're good? What tastes like? This is the best thing I've ever had. <laughs> I'm not kidding. It's like a bomb. I'm feeling like a, a fire in my throat. The goat is chewy and the tofu sauce. Mm. Now I'm going to try my fish heart leaf with the goat. There we go. That is strong. But it kind of overpowers the goat. It's like bitter, but it also tastes like the ocean. That is so strange. I'm having like a goat fish meat combo. Combo happening. That beef is tender. Smells good. Wow, that's good. That's very tasty. And a little sour from the lime. Let's do it again to make you digest. 
chopsticks champion game, which will test your chopsticks using skills. So we will play in teams. So you will pair up with your guy to make a team, uh -huh. and two teams will be competing against each other. Oh, I like a bit of competition. I hope you're ready to lose. Who is the more competitive person between them with like the two of you? <laughs> she is so competitive. Even though she never wins, she's so competitive. What? <laughs> that is false. Sometimes I let her win. No, 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 no. I win fair and square, we all know. So, one person will pick up the nut and then pass it to the other person to drop it into the bottle in front of them. So the first team who gets six nuts will be the winner. He's got to practice. Can he even pick up the nut? Yeah, I can pick it up. This is where the inner me becomes super competitive. <laughs> Oh, you're so quick. Yeah. <laughs> I hope you're ready. <laughs> That's a clear winner. <laughs> what if I did like two at a time? I'm a champion! I'm a champion! Oh, I can smell it now. <laughs> There's like a different variety of mushrooms in here. You've got the thin ones, you've got like the oyster looking mushrooms, and you've even got the eggy looking tofu as well. Seeping in this butter. I've got a big chunk of mushroom. It's kind of got like a sweet flavor. It's not salty, which you'd think. We're gonna try the tofu, which kind of looks like a cheesecake on the outside. So it's like a mushroom cheesecake or something like that. Or as you said, a mini moon cake. Mmm. <laughs> wow, it does look like a cheesecake. We're starting to get a little bit full, but these ladies are not stopping. No. They're taking us to the next stop. We're gonna continue on the bike. Doing a tour like this is the best thing that you should do if you are coming here. I highly, highly recommend it. Like, what a genius idea. You get to see the town. You get to ride a motorbike in one of the craziest cities in the world. You get to have some of the most authentic Vietnamese street food. And the best part is it's afternoon and evening. So it's not hot, it's comfortable, and you can just enjoy yourself. And eat a lot. Okay, on to the next one. This is definitely the best way to see Saigon. So we are now in District 4, which as I can see from the crowds of people behind me, is the most popular yet the most local Vietnamese so let's go see what we're about to eat right now. These girls are so fabulous. We're gonna dip the scallop, like the scallop in this sauce. Uh huh. And then this is the black pepper sauce with chili and pumpkin. Oh, I see. Yes. Lemongrass, mm. ginger, chili, 
after having the most delicious and really nicely spiced soup, we have a little bit of room left in our stomach for some dessert. And these lovely ladies have said that this is their favorite, favorite thing. So we have to go and try it right now. We have just arrived at our next spot and we are down the side alley and we had to take some of the tiniest, narrowest alleyways I've ever been to. I don't know how they turn these side alleys into roads. Look at this vibrant street that we are on right now. I couldn't have thought of a better place to have some dessert. And every single store is lined with these tiny little chairs. Everybody's eating, they've got bun me, they've got dessert. The crazy thing is this is not a street. It, it might look like a street with the amount of bikes. It's a total side alleyway. This is a side side alleyway. Now this is an idea I can get behind. The Vietnamese are so innovative. They've actually thought, okay, we love coffee. We love iced coffee and also flat. So they've literally created a dessert out of that. I agree. This is something I can get behind. I'm a fan of flat. <laughs> Tofu pudding, ice, and milk. This instantly reminded me of the hello hello that we had in the Philippines. But in this case, you're supposed to gradually stir it to get the, the texture that you want. So it's got milk, it's got tapioca, it's got tofu pudding, and it's got a little bit of condensed milk with some ice on top. The texture of this dessert is so interesting because you've got every kind of movement that your mouth is doing. You've got chewy, you've got soft, you've got squishy. It was like a roller coaster in my mouth. <laughs> what a fantastic way to end off the best tour we have ever, ever had. And trust me, we've done a lot of food tours. And it wouldn't be without these lovely ladies, especially our lovely motorbike ladies. They are super boss ladies they know how to eat and they know how to drive that's for sure we highly highly recommend do the motorbike tour with exo tours they were fantastic we will put all the information to them in the link description below thank you so please follow shape and take to more experience all over the world thank you very much Bye.